This is a tachometer I ordered from Amazon right there and uh, I'm going to install it in my RV and show you how I did it. Well, just to do this real quick, you open the box, you pull it out. This is for if you want to mount it, but I'm just going to put it in the RV this way. And you got your wires here. Let me send you some shrink wrap in these directions. Right there. So the directions are pretty poor, but mine is down here. And I'll just explain it to you. This is your light up here. This goes to your dimmer switch. The black goes to ground. Your other three wires that actually come out of the tack, the black goes to ground, the red goes to your ignition switch when you turn your car on, you gotta look for that. And it's usually right in your fuse box. And right here, this goes right to your tachometer. Now, here's the one thing you really gotta know when you deal with this. Right on the back, right there, there's a switch. Eight cylinder, six cylinder, and four cylinder. Don't make that mistake because I've done that before. And I am going to put it right over here next to my oil pressure switch. It also comes with this housing if you wanted to mount your tachometer on the dash, but I'm not doing that. Tachometer, what does it do? All it does is tell you how many revolutions per minute your engine's running. Speed armor tells you how fast you're going, but this tells you what your engine's doing. And I, I, I want to know that because my transmission sometimes is shifting after a certain time and I want to see what the tack is doing. So I'm going to hook this up, show you how I did it. So I reach back in here and there's nothing holding anything. So I'm going to put it right in here. Now out of the back of this thing, I got a red, green, and black wire, and these two, the red and the black, black is for the ground, we know that. So I'm going to shove it in the hole and hook it up. So I got the wires in, I'm just going to shove it in there tight, I can just pull it out if I wanted to. Now this is a Chevy, so I ran it here, I my mean, HEI distributor, it says TAC. So here's an HEI distributor and you see right here, if you could see that, it says TAC and it says battery. This is six cylinder. But all you gotta do is get one of these and it fits right in there like that. And that's how you would connect it to an HEI distributor for your tachometer. So I ran a wire down through here and because those wires so short came right here I used a soldering gun and I soldered her soldering and I soldered it together and that's been soldered now so now I get a little bit of shrink wrap cover that with the shrink wrap and then Do that so it shrinks all around it. Now I'm just going to bury it in my, uh, I don't forget what they call this stuff. I hide it. So now I took all my ground wires and I put them together and I solder them together. When I solder together like that, I know they're not going to get loose. So the same thing. I went down Harbor Freight and bought this shrink wrap. You put it on like this. You know what I mean? Slide it on there. Then heat it up. And you heat it up. And it shrinks. Tightens that all up in there. I ran my wire here. I don't know if you could see it, but way up in here, in the back, Chevy has a grounding block. So all I gotta do is take that thing up in here, 
shove it in there. That's it. It's in there and it's grounded. Instead of me wasting a lot of time, I just wrap the wire around the end of the fuse on the receiving end. So if it blows, it's not, uh, I'm gonna just shove the fuse back in. Lazy way to do it. I don't know if you see that right there. But I'm holding the thing on. That's how I know. See it? Turn the lights on and turn the dimmer. That's where my dimmer switch is. So there it is.